Good morning. This is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. Look at the upcoming forecast across west central Texas. This briefing is being updated early Wednesday morning. We continue to see the potential for some uh, strong to severe storms across uh, much of west central Texas today. Uh, again, uh, on Tuesday afternoon and evening, we saw a few severe storms up uh, north of Abilene and Sweetwater up in the Haskell and Throckmorton areas. The uh, largest storm was down uh, to the south uh, along Interstate 10 from Ozona to Sonora, where some uh, where, where a storm produced hail uh, uh, larger than the size of baseballs in a few locations. And again, that's sort of the type of storm activity that is possible across the area today uh, over over much of West Central Texas. Now, the the potential for the uh, uh, the uh, most severe storms, uh, the greatest potential to actually see one, will be along the north of a Sterling City to Ballinger to Brownwood line. But a, a stray severe storm is possible as far south as uh, San Angelo, Ozona, and Sonora once again. Again, a severe storm would be hail greater than one inch in diameter, damaging winds, and, uh, and perhaps an isolated tornado. But uh, we do see that potential for a few of these storms to become very severe. Uh, again, uh, maybe uh, hail... Uh, Larger than a golf ball to baseball size absolutely cannot be ruled out on, on days like this. So something we're going to be keeping a very close eye on as we head through the remainder of the day. Again, the best potential is going to be uh, late afternoon into the early evening hours. Uh, again, greatest potential north of a Sterling City to Ballinger to Brownwood line, but can't be ruled out anywhere across the area. That activity sags a little further south as the cold front pushes into the area for uh, for Thursday, with, again, the area mainly between Interstate 10 and Interstate 20. Um, again, scattered uh, strong to severe storms possible, uh, some large hail, some damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, and we're starting to see some potential for some, uh, some heavier rainfall as well. And those storms are going to continue into uh, Thursday night and Friday as well, though I think the severe potential may be easing a little bit. And we'll start to turn uh, the storms become a little bit more widespread and the potential becomes a little bit uh, better for some some heavier rainfall totals, especially across the uh, southeast portion of the area, say from Brownwood and, uh, and Coleman down toward Brady, uh, San Saba, Mason Junction, uh, Menard areas. Again, we may see some totals uh, above a couple inches in a few of those areas uh, on uh, on Thursday night into Friday.